What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Themes and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply a placeholder text into the fields of our contact form 7 WordPress free plugin, okay? So let me show you an example of a form added using the contact form WordPress plugin find this layout with a contact form and a map, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I'll explain how to create um, a page like this one, okay? No need to worry. And before anything, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video, it helps us a lot so others can find this video, okay? So here is the WordPress contact form 7 form, okay? And as you can see, in oh, there is nothing indicating that you need to type your name and how you need to type your name. So you need to read the, con the text and do. But let's imagine that you would like to have a form like this one, for example. With this series, when we start typing something, this text is called a placeholder, okay? This is the contact form placeholder. For example, the email, so your email at email.com your phone, the, the region, the location of your phone, and the number, and the message, when example. So, how to do this? First of all, make sure that you have the contact form WordPress plugin installed and activated on your site. Once again, review the link into the video description so you can learn how to do this. And after this, go to our WordPress dashboard. Once on dashboard, as soon as you activate your contact form 7 plugin, next to the comment section, you're gonna see the contact, okay? And here is where we're gonna click. Once on contact, we're gonna move to the contact form that we did apply on this page. In this page case, the contact form is this one, the contact form 1, so I'm gonna click on it so I can open the contact form editor, okay? And here is the contact form fields. Let me apply some zoom to help persons, okay? So we have the label. The label is your name. So where is the your name located? Right here, the first label. Now we have the field, it's a text field. And the text is for your name. And we're gonna close the label. After this, open another label for the email, another for the subject, and another for the message, okay? And the submit button simple as this but how to apply the placeholder text it's not that hard okay i'm gonna leave this content into the video description so you just need to copy that okay so placeholder these two dots okay so once on text for example your name type space and just post this code right here your name here Let's update, let's save the form and review what happens. So your name here, seems like I did type something wrong. It's good because we can delete, as you can see we did double the, the closing symbol, okay? So let's delete one and we're good to go. Now let's do the same just like this with your email for example okay so your email you're gonna type space right before the closing symbol okay and place and post the placeholder but now it's your email not your name so you can type your email here or you can type one example for example your email here Two points. Example. Now, let's save the change so we can review the what we have, okay? So, your email here, example, you at email.com. The same can be done for subject and for your message. So 
The process is not that hard, it's a quite simple, but you need to pay an extra attention because we are doing the codes, okay? You are working with the codes. There is other more complicated and easier to edit contact forms for this. Of course there is, whoever the contact form server, it's still one of the most used contact forms for WordPress because of their simplicity, okay? It's really, really simple, it's fast, it do not make your site slower. So I know that there's a lot of people who likes this contact form plugin. So that is why it's important to have your placeholder because we're gonna be indicating for our potentially customers, for our leads, what they need to do. For example, right here, into the your message, type in a space. Let's type something. For example, whoever you can type any text that you want, okay? So no need to worry. Really, really simple. And now an extra tip. We have the name, the email, and the message. Do you need a subject? According to the contact form you have, you may not need this field. So let me do you an extra tip. You can simply Delete it. Simple as that. So, here is the result we have. We got. Now we have three fields only. Okay, the your name, your email, and the message, with indication with placeholders that suggest what the customer needs to do into these forms. Okay, you can type your email here, type your name here, and what kind of message you can type here. This is very useful and this is gonna help your lead generation process because this uh, this gonna be useful for you because the customer or the potential customer have less things to write. We did remove one of those fields, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. Talking about WordPress themes, we have a free WordPress plugin on WordPress.org called Borderless and a free WordPress theme called Enzu that is the best free WordPress theme that you can download on WordPress.org. So I highly recommend that you review those. And talking about reviews, I would like to know so please type this onto the comment section. What is your favorite WordPress comment plugin, okay? WordPress for contact form plugin, okay? Let me know what your what contact form you are using. If you like the contact form 7, okay? I would be happy to discuss with you and let know your thoughts, okay? Into the first comment on this video, I'm going to leave some very useful links that I highly recommend that you review because the links leads you to sites where you can purchase, for example, a domain name for 99 cents, okay, in Namecheap, okay, in Namecheap, and a place where you can download design assets like icons, templates, Photoshop, templates, themes, plugins, and they update the download links every single week, and you can download this for free, so review the links, it may be useful for you, for your business, for a friend. And if you find this content useful, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it with your friends, with your family, it may help people, and gonna help YouTube to share this video for more persons, okay? And that is. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm Claudio from Visual Moto, and I see you later. All the best!